Alright guys, welcome to a first video on our new tutorial in JavaScript in Unity. I made a video on C Sharp and Unity a little while ago. Um, I'm going to try to interchange them, so I'm going to try to upload both of the videos that relate to each other at the same time. So just in case you want to learn something in JavaScript that I already did in C Sharp, you don't have to wait until I finish all the C Sharp tutorials. Uh, so yeah, we're going to start off in our JavaScript tutorial right now. So we're going to create a new JavaScript file. I'm going to call this JBasic, so I know the difference. I'm going to open this up in MonoDevelop. And Pragma Stripped, I'm, strict, I'm not going to go right now. It's not really an important line. You can delete it, and it will be perfectly fine. I'll leave it there for now, though. And then we have our two main functions. That's what you call um, methods in JavaScript. In C Sharp, they're called methods. In JavaScript, they're called functions. They mean generally the same thing. But, so as you see, we have our start and our update. These do the same thing as they do in C Sharp. They start, it does something, it update, it will update every time. Slash slash still creates comments, same as JavaScript or C Sharp. You can't put them in the middle of the line, but you can put the end or under or above. Uh, I'm going over this pretty fast. I did go over it in my C Sharp tutorial. So if you want to learn everything detailed, you go look at that. Uh, also in this semicolons and lines, so we'll go over that in a minute, but in this mono behavior isn't needed because it will actually automatically work. So let's get writing. In our start method, we can put game object dot set active in parentheses false semicolon at the end end the line. And the good thing about JavaScript in C Sharp, at least in Unity, is the lines are pretty much the same. When you're writing some things that are generally based off JavaScript or C Sharp, not in Unity, it does change a little bit. But when you're writing stuff that's specifically made for Unity, like the game object that's set active, which is a method in Unity, which actually comes from model behavior, it pretty much is going to be the same. There are going to be some differences that we'll go over in the future, but right now it's the same, so we're going to save that. And I'll put the same one on my capsule. And it has to do its little circle again just to make sure everything's good. If I go to my capsule though, I see JBasic is on there. Oops, it sounds on. So as you see, your capsule is gone. It turned off. We turn it back on, turn it off again. And yeah, so that worked. So next tutorial, once again, I'm gonna go over variables or if statements, something like that. I'll probably go over variables because they are a little bit different than you would write them in regular JavaScript because you need to actually define what they are. Um, so yeah, I'll go over that. Oh uh, yeah, thanks for watching.